Good morning guys, I've come up for a walk at uh, Sortica Parque today. Um, it's a little bit windy, windy and overcast today. Um, hopefully it won't interfere with the, uh, the microphone. Um, but the hotel you can see that's under refurbishment behind me is the Hotel Gran Tayoro. And uh, where I'm going to be walking is the grounds of the, uh, the original grounds, if you like. That was the origins of it. Uh, of the Hotel Gran Tayoro, um, but in 2007 it was turned over for public use. So let's go. So here is the Hotel Gran Tayoro in front of me. This was the uh, first luxury hotel in Spain in the 1890, and uh, Agatha Christie stopped here, believe it or not. Not to mention a few of the well-known people. So when this was originally uh, constructed in 1890, it was a spa hotel. Um, it catered mainly for a lot of people that had uh, um, respiratory uh, problems in uh, Europe. And uh, the Yeowood brothers uh, had a shipping um, company that uh, brought them here. And it was, they were brought here because of the climate. So this uh, particular park here was all part of the grounds and uh, in this area they constructed an Anglican church and also an English library. So it's mainly the British that were here that frequented this place and this particular uh, road that you see now is called uh, the Way of the Rings and uh, what used to happen here was uh, they had, uh, the British used to have uh, horse racing, uh, but not horse racing as you and I would know. Um, they used to construct a goal post um, and hung from the goal post, from the top crossbar, was uh, like a ribbon with a kind of a, a large wedding ring on. And uh, the horses used to race round this area with a pole trying to hook it on on the lance. Look at the colours here. This one. How magnificent is that? That is beautiful. Stunning. Yeah, the park's constructed a dog training area here. Originally called the Malpai, this area, Badlands, mainly because of its limestone um, underneath. Um, so nothing was constructed here and they just made these grounds. Nowadays you've got uh, apparatus for outdoor fitness. So we walk round towards the Anglican church and uh, we'll go and have a look at Alberto's and the views across to Puerto. Temperature today is about 18 degrees, but I've still got a t-shirt on. It's not cold at all. Quite a few people use this area for running and uh, various exercises, dog walking. I actually did walk through here once. I saw a guy, he's got a wire 
uh, tied between two trees and you're doing tightrope walking. <laughs> so you get all sorts. Cafe over there in the corner and kids uh, play area. And there's a side view of the Anglican church. It's uh, probably about 40,000 square metres, this area now. Very popular, especially on Sundays. And here's the Anglican Church. I keep saying I'm going to come to this, and I will do. That's the car boot sale on the first Saturday of every month. Here's a memorial garden to uh, one of the aircraft disasters that happened here. Uh, it came down in uh, 1980, April 1980, into uh, La Esperanza, which is the route up to Tady. I think there's about 176 people lost their lives uh, on a Danair flight. All right, we'll make our way down to Alberto's. Here we are. Very popular place. And we've got great views down to Puerto. You can see how overcast it is today. Chinero. Very narrow passageway of houses down here. How wonderful is that? Yeah, she'd be lucky to get a table there at Alberto's today. Just coming up to the Hotel Tagaga. The original owner of this hotel was actually a part owner in the Gran Tayoro, but actually fell out with them and uh, had this built. Look at this. How lovely. This hotel's also got its own gardens, which I'll show you. Harding Carolina. Very nice. Views of the swimming pool. Great views down to Puerto.
I forgot to mention when I was at uh, Alberto's, just down below, there's a building um, down as, you, as you're walking in on your left hand side, where they used to train Andalusian riding. Right, let's walk back through the park. The sun's breaking through. It's quite warm as well once <laughs> it does break through. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of Sortica Park and uh, we'll see you in the next one. And thank you very much for watching.